everybody. Uh, we're finally starting our first design meeting. Um, we had some problems with our microphones and the Wirecast software from YouTube. So we decided to transfer this meeting to this Ustream. I hope everybody could reach us. Uh, today we're going to talk about the sub-boss of the third stage, a stage that has uh, a stadium hornet song as, as its boss. I wish to know everybody who, who's out there in the, in, in the comments, if you, if you could please send us a message just so we know uh, everyone who's there. That would be great. Well, about our sub bosses, um, every sub boss we have on, on our game, it's a big boss uh, using references for for our classical shoot 'em ups, not the dual light bosses we have on, on with mounted cavaliers. Uh, this one is a war elephant, uh, a big beast of war. Um, well, uh, to start we have to show you guys some uh, new features we've, we've been implementing on this third stage. Uh, the stage will have some knights that, go, uh, that walk with you uh, during all the, the the first and second part of the stage, and you have to keep them alive, so that the you have to use them in the sub boss to your advantage. There are uh, there are five knights that goes along with the, the in the stage. Um, First of all, uh, sorry for my bad English. We we were we had some problems in, at the start. The quality, and the quality of the audio and video is abysmal. But we will try to improve on next meeting. Um, the elephant will be almost this size of, on the screen. So it's, it's supposed to be a big uh, big enemy. We are going to upload the war elephants to uh, a link on the, the on our site, so you guys can take a look on the, the um, concept art. Um, we were planning to use the knights to avoid the the, the elephant, to, uh, so the elephant can't run over the knight. Will be orbiting this space. I just sent the the concept art for our war elephant. Uh, so if you see the our Vikings the Vikings from our world we will use beasts as way of uh, uh, Beast of war to fight and not ships. Uh, all the animals will come from Africa, our, our African animals. So we'll have lions, elephants, boars, and in the case of the, the boss of the stage, the rhino. Um, the this stage will, will be a fight between the king's army and the, the viking's army. So we'll, we'll have a, a cold battlefield and with lots of uh, animations in, in, the, in the lower levels of the, the, the stage with clashing, uh, clashing, clashing armies. And in the end, you fight this this war elephant. Uh, today we're going to discuss how the, this boss fight will work out. Uh, as I said before, we have the, the knights 
uh, that's an, a different asset. Not every player will have the knights at, at the end of the stage, because you have to keep them alive before uh, for, for the duration of the whole stage. Um, it's quite possible that everyone will die, <laughs> so we have to think of something good from for the players who who keep the knights alive, but that doesn't make the fight impossible for the ones who didn't make the the, the who didn't make the the knights alive through, through the through all the stage. Well. We will discuss the, the boss between ourselves here. If anyone has any input to give on the, the, the boss, please let us know. We are here for that. And we're sorry that the, 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 the meeting is not going smoothly, but it's our first time. So probably in the next few ones, we're going to be a bit better off. Um, well. We have some obvious attacks, that is the charge and the uh, trunk using the um, anchor. So these two. Uh, we usually have the um, this type of sub boss uh, walk through this through the uh, through the screen, but not move very much. So the player has this feeling of the classical shoot 'em up. Um, in the in the case of this war elephant, we have some weak spots being the bolts that have on their back on his back um, we we're thinking of using the vikings over the bolts as the weak spots or the the hit points of the elephants as, as to say um, we're going we're probably going to make the the knights uh, stop the charge of the elephant this is, is going to be the the biggest prize for the player who, who keeps the knights alive. Um, I, I don't know if they are going to take damage as they do so, uh, because it's it's kind of sad that you you kept the, the your knights alive all this for all the stage, but in the end everyone dies because you you took too long to, to kill the the, the boss. Um, other attacks. I think sniping Vikings. Arrows. Uh, shower of arrows. Yeah. From the Vikings. Arrows. Uh, I can think of any other attack. I. I thought the the problem the uh, the only thing I, I feel it's missing is some kind of direct attack. All of these attacks are area of effect. The charge covers basically the whole screen, so does the the anchor sweep mm -hmm. and the shower of arrows. Uh, maybe the maybe the Vikings can uh, aim at the night. Like, like the the Vikings on the on the stage, we can use we can even use the same like the cobalt spear. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Probably what what will the elephant do while the Vikings are shooting? Will it keep? Yeah, I I think the the elephant has to have a um, bigger animation that. Uh, indicates that he's going to charge. So maybe it takes parts of this big animation, you know. When, it, when the, uh, the Vikings are, f are firing the arrows, the elephant's preparing to charge or preparing to do a sweep, an anchor sweep. And 
because this 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 um, this moves take a whole part of the screen and the elephant takes a the whole lot of the screen the screen too so they have to be all telegraphed uh, so the player can dodge it uh, quickly yeah. um, well it, it won't actually cover the whole screen but that will be possible to dodge yeah yeah okay so where does the night come into play I think the the um, the charge will have a very little space to, to to dodge the top part of the screen. So like this is the screen. The elephant will take a whole bunch of the, the screen and the knight has to squeeze upwards. So if if you have the, the knights they can go come forward and stop the the, the elephant. So you can still shoot on the weak spots because here upwards you can shoot. shoot. You will, you have to dodge upwards so you can shoot on the Vikings on on his back like here or here. Uh, this way, the the knight will have to choose between dodging or or giving more damage, uh, and the knights will help him do both. So. The, the elephant who make a stop, he can start the charge and stop on the knights making something like that. Of, of course, in a, uh, the animations can't be very big in this case because the sprite's too big. But something like that, he, he fooled, I don't know the English word for retreat. that. It's not retreat, but he, he loses the momentum. the momentum, so he stops like yeah. Okay. And any attacks on the knights? <sighs> Will you lose knights doing this fight? Yeah, I think you have to lose them, at, but not in a high high rate. I think you have to lose them maybe uh, one hit for for each uh, charge. So you 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 see that your knights are are getting damaged but they don't go too fast, you know, because it, it's hard to keep them alive the whole way. So in the end, it, it's nice that people can, can say, oh, all my knights uh, were alive at the end. So yeah. it had to be possible to, to keep all the knights alive. Yeah. We're going to, to find a, uh, make a, a quick image of the knights where they where they are at this uh, in the stage, uh, so you guys can take a look. Just a sec. Everybody's it's it's uh, can understand what you're ta what we are talking about. Any suggestions? Any inputs? Any doubts? Uh, we want you guys to to participate. So. Uh, please, please uh, make any suggestions, doubts, and are available. Here are the knights um, as they were working in the stage nowadays. Uh, this stage is almost done. Uh, we will be releasing on the, probably on the next update of the, the, the game. Um, so you can see that the, the Vikings and the enemies are all jumping in, in front of the, the on Sir Oliver and the knights engage them and protect Sir Oliver. Uh, if you have if you let all your knights die, the stage becomes much harder. Um, so that's why we want the, the the knights to participate in the last in the boss in the in the in the end of the stage. Well what more? Okay. Um, do the knights damage the yeah, knights or elephants? I was thinking of using the Vikings as weak spots or as hit points basically. 
because we try to do that in every every boss, and every sub boss to use some representation on the boss to to so, so the player can you know if if the boss is, is almost dying and stuff. Uh, I was thinking that the Vikings could be spawning from the, the, the back of the elephant. And the the elephant dies when all all the night all, all the Vikings are defeated. Uh, we can use the same Vikings as we had in the stage but have a limited amount of them uh, as hit points. I was hoping not to kill the elephant at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so probably so the... So Peter would... Super. Yeah, but probably the, the, the end, maybe the, the ships can fall off the elephant and, and he crash in the ground away. and he runs away. So we have one, in, one last animation to do. The, the dying, the elephant dying. Uh, we can we can use the charge, may, maybe change his face a bit, so like uh, I'm scared and stuff. Um, but I think that's that's the the, the the path we're going to to use to this boss. Um, I really hope people would say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we could have a, a rider, maybe. Uh, yeah, a, one main rider, for, uh, like riding his uh, balls of Viking. Yeah, something like that. I don't I know don't if care. that's that's doable, but. Maybe he could have uh, he could have the, the, the animations that um, that shows that the elephant is going to attack. Maybe a horn or he, he gives the horn and you know that the charge is coming. This way, it's a bit less animations for the elephant because he doesn't have to make something like a yeah, the telegraph. Yeah. yeah. So we can we can do the telegraphations <laughs> all in this the this warnings. The, the warnings all in this character. I don't know if that's too much work uh, making another Viking. Maybe he's seated on on the on the back of the elephant. A pirate can mount elephant. So it's, yeah, it's probably cooler, I think, making a, like a captain, a Viking captain. Maybe he's tougher or with an arm or something. yeah, yeah. And I like the detail of the the, the trunk using the anchor. Especially that since we don't use ships for the Vikings, and that's this, this uh, what the fuck moment. Yeah. What's that anchor doing there? Well, they actually, I have one problem with the anchor, is that it overlaps its functionality with the charge. No. Just because of one detail, what? the anchor can go up to the screen. Uh, and to, uh, and you dodge it. Yeah, you dodge backwards. it backwards. You, you, I think that the, the knight will, will have to... Different from all other bosses, this fight is probably for the, the guys who keep in the back of the stage. So when he telegraphs the, the, the trunk, you have to go back. When you telegraph the charge, you have to go up. Um, so the, the trunk can, like, if the, the, the screen is this size, the trunk can go. Yeah. Your only reason to go yeah. forward is to avoid the arrows. Yeah, yeah. The arrows can go back. So you don't have any, any uh, 
perfect spot to be, or safe spot to be. Probably the, the safest would be this corner here, but you can damage him there. Yeah, and so the arrows in case you hit you. Yeah, Probably. yeah. So this, this fight is going to be about tight spaces and quick reflexes for the edges. Uh, different from tree stash that you have to keep uh, dodging in the middle and, and firing. This one it's on the edges. It's, it's a, yeah, yeah. I think it's a great, uh, it's a good um, difference. Well, actually you still have to avoid the error, so you probably will have to go forward. To yep, avoid. yep. Because the arrows are maybe maybe forward and down, we can make the, the arrows uh, hit above the knight. Yeah, so the, they, the, they they aim, they can arc. Yeah, they aim they aim uh, above the 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 knight uh, the, above Sir Oliver, so that the knight has to dodge downwards and forward and go into a place where where it's dangerous. We can be anchored. Yeah. Uh, I miss one, maybe one attack from the captain if we, we're going to have him. Uh, he maybe can throw a spear or uh, or something directly to the knight or um, like the the axes. From yeah. The, maybe the even an axe. Maybe even an axe or something like that. The, uh, something that is more direct to the to the knight, a, a direct attack. Maybe the horn is, is magical, so he can shoot something off of the horn. Mm -hmm. yeah. A blast of air, of sound. Um, the Vikings that jump from behind, will they count towards the, the, the total hit points? The knights? The, the, the Vikings, Vikings they come jump from, from behind? Yeah, they, 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 that's Paul, to fight against yeah, the knights. Yeah, I, I think that, ah, to fight against the knights. Yes. Mm. I wasn't thinking of making the, 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 the Vikings go against the knights. The knights in this this fight in my in my first yeah. first view was uh, were there just to avoid the, the, the elephant from charging. So basically, you're, you're going to have a lot of archers on the, the elephant, not not uh, melee Vikings like the stages. Uh, yeah, and they will spawn. Yeah, yeah. Like you have three to kill, three over the the, the back and and two on the lower side, and you have to kill them, kill all of them. Another wave spawns. You kill all another wave, and we have some waves of of different what strengths. What kind of metric do you have to just yeah, realize to, that to, to, to so the player can know how many. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Ah, we were we were thinking about using the shields. Remember, don't okay. yeah. Maybe maybe the shields. The shield body take another. Yeah, another side of the. Yeah, maybe the the, maybe bones. once the once the the, the, the Viking spawns, he grabs the shield. I don't. Know. I don't know if that's too much. Oh, yeah. The first wave can spawn with the shoots. Yeah. And the second one take the shoots. From so the you have the you have a, a, a visual guide to know how many shoots are, are missing. This way you can have even more hit points for the, the Vikings. You just put the shoot but uh, shoot in front. Ah, maybe something like that. You know, you you have the the the, um, uh, the ship here. And you have like three or four shields. So the first guy comes in and puts the shield forward here. So before you have you have the chance to kill the the, the the archers behind the shield, you have to destroy the shield. So you know that there are four waves. 
yeah. you know? Maybe, um, maybe there doesn't really need to be a guy that goes there and, and puts because of the animation. Just pop there. Yeah, I, I don't like pop, but maybe some mechanical thing or I don't know. What do you think? Okay. It's okay? Let's take. Taking is it's good. It's uh, okay. so. Well, if, if taking the the, the shield uh, is, the is easy enough, just but, but run yeah, inside and take. Yeah. If if if, the, if taking the shield is easy enough, I think the first Viking that spawns is not an archer. He's just the shield guy. So he goes there, grabs the shield, and it stays there. And stays there. So you so you have to kill him before killing any of the others. It's basically a new enemy, more or less. Uh, maybe we can use the the. Run animation can take the shoot. Yeah, it's a new animation. The the shoot taking. But the shoot is I in front of him. It will be you won't visible. It's no. Just, no. You, you won't see. It. Pass through and take the shoot. Okay. Okay. If 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 you think it's enough for, for me, it's okay. Uh, I I think that's a, that's cool. Real, that's cool. cool mechanic. Yes. Yeah. The cool because you have the, you have those shields to to measure how how far on the boss fight you are, and they basically measure the wave the waves of the the fight. Yeah. One problem I have, but there are two two long ships. There is yeah. one by the side, one above. Yeah, I have one little problem about that. It's that the uh, we were thinking about that before, isn't it, Don't I? <laughs> yeah. uh, because of the, the 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 concept art is so uh, exactly we, what we just yeah we just saw uh, said. We, we didn't talk about waves, just the Vikings that are yeah. on top of the yeah the sub bus. I, I remember right. something wrong, but um. Maybe the the yeah the problem I have is that you have only two spots to shoot, you know, you you basically have to be in one of these two positions or be, or above the head of the elephant shooting the first or in the middle shooting the second. Yeah, we we have to. We probably have to have this direct attack from the captain because uh, to, to make the, the Sir Oliver move around the, 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 the stage. So the elephant will have four attacks. One that's basically the Vikings, the, the, the firing Vikings. Uh, the charge attack and the anchor sweeping attack and a boss uh, captain uh, direct attack. Maybe we can change the 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 captains to the, those guys who have the shield. Maybe those guys can I don't know give a, an order or something like that to make the the elephant charge or, or sweep. I I don't know if we if we need a direct attack. If you if you we make the arrows really precise. Like the the javelins of the kobolds or before we mm -hmm. adjusted, a little bit less precise than that, but really precise. It will be really strong and will make the player move forward and yeah. run the screen because it's really hard to avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to test it. I I think the the captain is is it's a module. Uh, we can. Extract him yeah. or or put him to to task, uh, so we can do the the boss without him and see how it goes, and then after I add the, this captain and see if if it works well. Um, any other ideas? I, I feel confused, a little bit confused with the anchor sweep. The only way to avoid it is going backwards. Yeah. And no. Is any other any? Yeah. In in this image that 
than Kaida have done. I think the the elephant's going to be bigger than this, isn't it, Dunkai? Yeah, it's just a preview. Yeah, because in the... Yeah, we had we had the um, we had the elephant on the on the end of the stage, uh, and he's quite big. He takes a lot of the horizontal space as well. Uh, so in the end, if you have the knight, you you can avoid being hit by the the charge. But the the sweep has to be dangerous yet. Uh, still, it has to still be dangerous. I don't know how exactly because you can, you can keep. Uh, well, the, the, it, it, uh, the knights are not so in the back of the the, the stage that the, the the sweep won't hit the, knight, the Sir Oliver. I think the, the sweep can be like a, a strider attack, you know? Strider? A strider from Mega Dragon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, forward, yeah. yeah Instead it's, of. It's, it's arcing forward. Yeah. Yes. yeah may, maybe downwards and yeah, downwards but, and forwards. But it, it has a peak. Yeah. So this peak can be way backwards. So you can be right in the middle. You have to. Adjust a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The important thing is that it covers a bit of this, the 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 um, the stage, the the screen, that doesn't make the Sir Oliver hit. The, the knights can't can't be a win-win. You know? Yeah, of course. You, you you can't be like ah okay I have the knight so this boss is easy. It's easier, but it, it still has to be some challenge. Because that's why I like the direct uh, attack. attack. It because the yeah, anywhere, anywhere you are, you you're going to yeah, be. Uh, you fulfill yeah, the purpose. Yeah, yeah, yes, you're right. Maybe if we ha if we have a lot of uh, Vikings, uh, the the shower of arrows it would be really hard to avoid. Yes. Um, we can make them shoot really high. Yeah. So that the arrows will be dangerous from above mostly, instead of hitting just them. directly. Yeah. Yeah. Really from above, so you. Yeah, that, that's what I want with the arrows, making the, the 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 making Sir Oliver go down and forward. That's what I think about. To the danger zone. Yeah, yeah. It has to go to the danger zone. Well. Um, we got to start a little late, but I think in the end we got the, the meeting going. Um, I, re I would really like to hear about you guys who are watching. Any suggestion, any, any ideas, anything you think is lousy or you doesn't like, anything at all. Just to close up this meeting. We promise that the next one will be a bit better. Uh, maybe we're going to be a, li a, bit of, uh, a little less nervous, nervous at the start, uh, a little more prepared about the, the microphones and video settings and all this crap. Um, I wish to thank you all for being here. We're going to give maybe 10 to 15 minutes so you guys can ask ask stuff or uh, propose and, uh, other other attacks other other mechanics uh, I would really 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 love to hear about any any ideas you guys have uh, one thing I, one thing I would like to hear from you is the the uh, what are you? The, sh the schedule schedule, schedule. Uh, if the, the 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 time is good for you guys, if you guys wish to uh, so the next one, we we can uh, make it in another time, another day. We're going. We're probably going to use you stream from now on because it's easier to 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 work it. Um, 
probably the next meetings will, will be about artifacts or potions or both I, I don't know uh, we're going to gather uh, ideas from you guys and uh, we have to fill like uh, eight of each so we have plenty of space of ideas and if that's that uh, if you guys want to talk to us we have the forums and all the, the usual uh, ways we're open to any any input from you guys so that's it uh, I think that's our first design meeting thanks to all who watched and until next time